it sounded like a freight train coming and the house started to shake and a branch came down, big limb came down and hit the roof. Some residents in Falmouth are wondering if a peculiar weather event called a microburst may be to blame for some significant damage to trees and power lines on Tuesday night. The brief, violent weather episode occurred between 7.30 and 8 p.m. and is likely the cause for some snapped trees and downed power lines in several neighborhoods not far from Falmouth's Main Street area. Last night uh, we were preparing supper. My wife was uh, at the uh, St. Vicious. Thunder, roll, lightning came down, snap, really uh, disturbed her. I ran out, and lo and behold, a tree as old as I am uh, was down. Hopefully it doesn't happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> it came through heavy rain and really uh, an intense high-velocity wind that uh, just without warning swooped through. And it was done. It was done in, you know, five minutes. It was all over. Residents said the affected areas were relatively unscathed by Hurricane Sandy's impact on Monday, but it was a different story one day later. The microburst, which is a severe blast of wind that only lasts briefly, may have accompanied a Tuesday night thunderstorm. A large tree was uprooted and fell onto the front yard of this home at the corner of Allen Ave and Clinton Ave in Falmouth. Tree limbs and power lines were seen strewn along Hamlin Ave, with caution tape surrounding the perimeter on Wednesday morning. We lost power and the house just shook and vibrated for about 10 minutes and then it stopped. The flagpole was lifted right up out of the ground and tossed on the ground and the tree in the backyard uh, snapped off about three feet up. Yeah, we were worried. We, didn't, we were afraid the tree in the front might come down on the roof, but um, luckily it was just a big limb.